pleasant day children today we are going to learn lesson number 2 that's force work and energy let's see what is warm up session has for us identify the types of force push or pull being used in the doing the following tasks now what is happening here think about it what is happening here what is happening here and what is happening here now all this you are going to think whether it is push or pull and you are going to write it okay great now let's look ahead and what does this lesson have in store for us it's identify the types of forces understand work know about simple machines know about the energy and its sources okay here we go on a lovely journey on force work and energy a force is what is force a force is a push or pull exerted on an object when it interacts with another object a force can do the following it can move the an object from rest it can stop a moving object change the direction of a moving object change the shape of an object okay now let's go to the types of forces which are the types of forces in case of contact forces objects experience force when two bodies interact or come in contact with each other when the interaction stops the two objects no longer experience force now let's proceed further to the muscular force when you lift a bag from the floor which force are you using the force exerted by the muscles of our body is known as muscular force now see a muscular force being used to lift books see a gravity now then next we are coming to the gravitational force here the gravitational force is exerted on the ball let's see what happens when you throw an object in the air it falls back on the ground which force is this the force of the earth that pulls the object towards itself is known as gravitational force now let's see what this fact is has in store for us the force of gravity holds the entire universe together with growing age the skin in humans becomes less elastic the gravitational pull of the earth causes loose skin to droop creating sagging of the skin okay then now let's move further to the elastic force what is elastic force have you seen how an arrow is shot using a bow when an elastic material is stretched it exerts elastic force it is a force which causes an object to regain its original shape when the acting pull or push is removed now let's go further to frictional force when you push a book on a table it slides across the table but then stops after some time what causes the book to stop frictional force is a force exerted by a surface when an object slides or rolls over it frictional force is a force that opposes motion it acts in the opposite direction to the motion of a body and causes it to cease its motion now we are see the book sliding on a table and this is a bow and arrow which uses the elastic force and this is the frictional force understood now let's go further to work in a picture given below children are moving boxes a boy is pushing the box while another boy is pulling the box in in picture b tamanna is trying to push a wall see this here boy is pushing boxes he is pulling and he is pushing here tamana is pushing a wall what is the note a non contact force is a force which acts as an object without coming physically in contact with it for example magnetic force and gravity on applying force boxes moved as shown in picture a however as shown in picture b the wall could not be moved even after applying a lot of force thus work has happened in picture a but work has not happened in picture b work is said to be done 
only when the force applied on the object causes it to move. Through a distance, work is done as boxes moved out. But work is not done as the wall did not move, despite the large amount of force being applied. Examples of work being done are a horse pulling a cart, a man pushing a wheelchair and a weight lifter lifting a barbell. Now see here, the horse pulling a cart, see here a man pushing the wheelchair and a weight lifter lifting the barbell. Now let's go to the simple machines. Look at the two pictures given below. In which picture is more energy being used by the people discuss? Now this is what you have to discuss. I mean what you at home discuss and tell me as we have already been finished discussing it in class. Sometimes we find it difficult to do certain work with our hands. So we use tools or machines to make our work easier as it requires less energy. Now what are machines, devices that help to do certain work with less effort? Simple machines are devices that make doing work easier. They have few or no moving parts. There are seven different types of simple machines. First one is the lever. This is a lever. A lever is a rod or an arm that turns around a fixed point. The fixed point is called the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the resting or balancing point upon which the lever turns. Someone or something has to push or pull the lever to make it work. What is a pulley? A pulley is a machine made of wheel that with a groove and a rope. The rope helps to lift heavy objects easily. A pulley changes the direction of the force acting on the body. Now this is how the pulley looks. Okay? Then we have the wheel and the axle. The wheel and axle is a kind of lever that moves objects across distances. The axle is the rod that is attached to the wheel. This lets the wheel turn. The wheels of a car or a bicycle are wheels and axles which allow them to move easily. Did you see it? Okay, now let's move further to the inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface that is higher on one hand. You can use a simple machine to move heavy objects to a lower or higher place. When you move objects over an inclined plane, then you would use less energy or force, thus making the work of moving things easier. See that? Great, isn't it? Such are the intelligent brains of us humans. Now let's go further to the screw. A screw is also a kind of inclined plane that travels in circle around a central point. A screw can raise weights as in a car jack or it can press or fasten objects as in furniture. Screws can be tightened to hold objects together with the help of a screwdriver. Now we move further to the wedge. A wedge is made when two inclined planes are used are attached back to back where the pointed edges are used to cut things. This is a wedge. Energy. Energy is the ability or capacity to do work. We need energy to carry out various activities like running, playing, studying, breathing and so on. We can apply muscular force only if we have energy inside our body. Sources of energy. Things from which we get energy are called sources of energy. Solar energy. The sun is the biggest source of energy. Most of the living things get energy from the sun, either directly or indirectly. The energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy. Green plants trap the sun's energy and make food. Animals and human beings consume plants to get that energy. Solar energy is also used to operate devices such as solar cookers and solar heaters. Electricity is also generated by solar panels using solar energy. Now we move further to atomic energy. Matter is made up of atoms. Atoms make up everything in the universe and are held together with great force. These atoms can be broken apart in a process called fission.
and the energy release can be used to generate electricity. Weapons like atom bombs that are made for national safety are also manufactured using atomic energy. Geothermal energy, the heat from the inner parts of the earth is an important source of energy and is known as geothermal energy. Chemical energy, the energy obtained by chemicals acting on one another is called chemical energy. A battery or a cell has chemical energy stored in it. What is wind and water energy? Energy from the wind and flowing water can be used to generate electricity. Energy can change from one form to another. We experience different forms of energy in our daily life. And energy can change from one form to another. A music player changes electrical energy into sound energy. Our body changes chemical energy from food into mechanical energy. A windmill changes wind energy into electrical energy. Now here what is the activity? The aim is to make a screwdriver and to prove that screw is an inclined plane. What do I need? A sheet of paper, adhesive tape, pencil. What, what do we do? Take a piece of paper and make a line about 10 centimeters height and base 7 centimeters such that it forms an L. Now join the two open ends of the drawn L. Cut this triangle and join the base of the triangle on the pencil and wrap it in such a way that it forms a screw. Got it? Lovely isn't it? Now let's move further. Now this activity you are going to do at home. Okay children? Gosh, we have come to the end of the lesson and what is the summary? What did we learn? We learned that force is a push or a pull exerted on an object. The types of forces are muscular, gravitational, elastic and frictional. The various simple machines are lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined plane, screw and wedge. Energy is the ability to do work. Things from which we get energy are called sources of energy. The sun is the biggest source of energy. Energy can change from one form to another. Well children, I guess we had a lovely time on contemplating on force, work and energy. Have a lovely day. See you soon for the next lecture. Thank you.